How do we study universe? Well, we use telescopes, right? And search for electromagnetic waves like radio waves, gamma rays emitted from stars and galaxies and learn about them. But there is a problem. These waves are easily absorbed or scattered by intervening matter like space dust, giving us an incomplete or sometimes no information at all. So then, are we done exploring the universe? Well, in the past few years, our understanding of gravitational waves has overcome this challenge and made astronomy easier. Let's learn about these waves and why do they matter? Gravitational waves are disturbances in space-time that propagate with the speed of light. And like all other waves, they have amplitude, frequency, wavelength, and polarization. First know what exactly is space-time. It's just a geometrical representation of equations of general relativity dealing with 3D space and time, whose solutions describe phenomena like gravity and gravitational waves. To best visualize the behavior of space-time, we take an analogy of a trampoline. Consider, we have some balls placed over its surface. Matter like planets and stars play into space-time in much the way balls over a trampoline do. Lighter bodies tend to fall into curvature caused by heavier bodies, also called as gravity. Heavier the mass, stronger the gravity. Now, this ball suddenly disappears. Congratulations! In our analogy, gravitational waves are ripples you are seeing right now. Bodies moving with extreme acceleration in the fabric of space-time radiate gravitational waves. Even we humans constitute them, but they are impossible to detect. Since gravity is the weakest among four fundamental forces, it requires massive mass and energy to radiate powerful gravitational waves. In space, they are triggered by spinning a bump in neutron stars, violent events like supernovae, a spiral and merger of giant black holes, neutron stars, a large distance from our Earth. If you were near the source, you would have alternately stretched and compressed by the waves. But don't worry, its effect here at is infinitesimal, that it requires extremely sensitive instruments to measure. On September 2015, researchers at LIGO were first to measure them. When the waves passed by, the laser interferometers at LIGO constructively interfered and generated signals. These waves were originated from the merger of supermassive binary pair of black holes 1.3 billion years ago, releasing an energy equivalent to three solar masses in the form of gravitational waves. Since then, signals from several other binary pair of stars and black holes have been reported and have changed the way of doing astronomy. Unlike electromagnetic waves, gravitational waves weakly interact with matter, allowing us to explore the part of the universe inaccessible with telescopes. With it, we can study deeper about supernovae, learn more about formation and properties of black holes, neutron stars, and may gaze into the universe right after it began. Studying these waves complement observations made from electromagnetic waves as well as neutrinos and holds the potential to uncover several unexplained mysteries humanity has ever solved.